Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts. If this man stops uh, waving his head, shaking it like he's a wrestler here. This oh, man, I had, a in my, I had a crook in my neck. I'm old, okay? I'm old. Anyway, today's episode, we're going to be doing a review of one of Hulu's Into the Dark series uh, movies. Mm-hmm. It's called The Current Occupant. Again, it's on Hulu as a Hulu original. And before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Drop some comments below on what you guys think about it. Also, follow our uh, Twitter page. The Movie Social. Without further ado, current occupant. Okay, now, so, it's not your typical action thriller or horror it's a thriller, movie. It's a thriller. I, I said not your typical. Oh, well, typical. yeah. This one is more of a brain a teaser in a way. It's going to force you to use your brain and think about it. And it, give, it allows for interpretation, if you ask me. So, the whole premise is supposed to be this guy who's in a mental house. Either he's the president or he, he's mentally ill and thinks he's the president of the United States. And now, at the same time, though, there was a big uh, whole situation where it was a... I'm just going to go out there and... I don't know, let me hear with this part, because they don't go too deep into it. You get a little brief bump at, of this in the beginning, where uh, uh, basically anarchy happens. The whole country is at going to shit. Shootings, killings left and right. Uh, attack on the president. To try to overthrow the president. Somewhat of uh, certain things that could happen, might, would happen here, given the current state of this country. Maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, so, then it cuts to the mental house. And so, most of this story is with the guy pretending to be, well, believes he's the president. I can't even say pretending, because... That's where it leaves for interpretation. Is he the president? Is he's not the president? Basically, one of the things that they kept saying in the movie, do you believe that a mental a president could wake up in a mental hospital or that a mental patient could become the president? Basically, that's the question. Is it one, the other, or neither? No, it's the, they think it's either one or the other. Well, he, says he, he says he says he believes it's neither. At the end, in the beginning, he thought one versus the other. Yeah. But it really is up to your interpretation, in my opinion. I would love to hear from the cast on their opinion of which one is it. But it, it, for a moment there, it really had you thinking he really was the president. And that somehow they plant this whole elaborate scheme with the vice president to take over and overthrow him. But then at one point, you really would think he's just a mental patient and has believed from another mental patient. <laughs> but what was your thoughts? Man, this entire movie had me in the genjutsu the entire time. The entire time, I'm like, wait, what? What? What's going on? Huh? huh? I swear I texted this man like five times watching this movie because I was confused. The entire movie had me in the Genju too, and I still don't know what's right or wrong. I mean, I seen the movie end, but I I don't know what to believe. I mean, that's what a Genju too is. It just takes away your entire your entire sense of actually knowing what's real and what's not real. So I like, mean, in reality, this could be something that could happen. That's why I mean, it could it, be. It's but still, like, in my opinion, interpretation. It's like okay. At one point, you obviously okay. So this is what you do: you see the movie through his eyes, through his lens, right? Mm-hmm. And then but are you really seeing it through his uh, orderly's lens? Honestly. Yeah. So well, no. You see, so the thing is, certain parts. No, you definitely see it through his lens because, again, with him talking to the dead, him talking to the other person well, about being the, was he really talking to his dead wife, or was this all hallucinations and imagination? Did his wife really get killed? Was there really an assassination attempt? Hey, yo, Rick, do not put it on. Put, release! I am not doing this today. You're not. 
gonna put me <laughs> in that's a kid you to like this movie did. <laughs> but that's the whole point of this movie. No, that's what it is. no, no. They showed evidence, visual evidence. No, they did not fully show the evidence. They showed a possibility. You, they Rick. made him think Rick. that. And they then they sh- also made him think something else at the same time. Rick. They showed this man tapes of him talking to nobody in the damn hallway. To him hugging the air in the goddamn uh But the, you know, the at room. the same time, half of that, he was also in his own mind, too. Yeah, so, exactly. Right, so, at the same time, how are we to know for sure that those were real tapes and that it wasn't part, another part of his mind, deep inside his mind, inside his mind, we in the Matrix now. It's like, no. Listen, man. The man thought... But that's how this whole movie was. The man, at the end of the movie, he thinks he's escaping. He goes upstairs. And, he's, and he thinks he's walking into the Oval Office. And then that he, he got, didn't even get off the elevator. That's the whole point. Exactly. He didn't even get off the elevator. He was and then when he, when, when he gets up to the floor, it's just the book. First of all, let me tell you how creepy this man is. Listen, he plays the role. He well. plays he, the role. He played the role well. well in he Black played White the role. Man. He plays the role too well, well. Very well. Because I'm afraid of this man. I ain't never met this man in my life. I mean, his, like, first of all, um, I don't know what ethnicity is. is, he, is he's, he, black. He's, he's black. He's black. Okay. He's, a, he's a albino. He, he's albino, which is awesome. And the thing is, like, with him being albino and his eyebrow, eyebrows being light and everything, and, like, his skull, like, when he, like, not his skull, but his scowl, I think they call it. I'm sorry. But he, he, like, puts his, like, shrinks his eyebrow, hunches his eyebrows down and, look, like, looks up at you and stuff like that. It is creepy as hell to me. And, like, so when he made him. black light in there. No. When he made him lick his shoe, I'm like, bro, we fighting. Now that part I'm was not I'm First not part, licking your shoe. I'm not cleaning nothing with a toothbrush. Them small little toothbrush. I'm cl- well, bro. spot clean this toilet and this floor. Nah. Bro, I wanted they to fight it back. I wanted to fight that man for making him do that. But this entire movie, I get it. I get the concept. I The movie had me in a Genju too the entire time. But if anybody's wondering who he was just talking about, it's Marvin Jones. He the also third, plays yeah. as... The villain, one of the villains on Black Lightning, one of the main villains, I should say, Tobias Well. But yeah, it, he just was crazy. He plays his role as well in most things that he plays in. I mean, like I said, it had its point. I mean, I understood it. It's just that, like, it made it for interpretation too many ways. Like, you can think but about it, it like interpretation to like seven, thing. eight ways. And I just, movies like that. It just throws me off guard because it's like, but I'm just gonna say this. Maybe this should be done with this current man that's in the White House because uh, he he is mentally ill and we should have him put in the psychiatric ward. That, that movie had me. Maybe this was just trying to foresee the future, give us a glimpse of reality of what should be happening. That movie had me in again you to all. Mm-hmm. The, I think was two hours, hour and a half. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not short and it's not really long. Either. It had me in again you to the entire time. And the Infinite Tsukinomi, I was just like dumbfounded. But oh no, it was a, it was an okay movie. It was pretty solid. I'll say this: the visuals and the cinematography was excellent. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, especially the acting with, was great too. Yeah, it just especially with the twist and the uh, the effects when they had them in the the uh, crap. I forget the machine that they were using to basically have them have images flashing at the same time I started Bro, talking. That, that whole, was it, wild. It's so much about this movie, man. Just him attacking, watch him Just attacking the, the the people with with the chair. Poor little person ain't do nothing. He thinking that they trying to he they coming after him and he just attacking people, man. Uh, oh my goodness, that man was in the genjutsu. He was in the genjutsu. I was in the genjutsu. It, it was just too much. Too many genjutsu going on, now, man. Listen, you guys got to watch it. It's on Hulu. Tell us what you guys thought about it. What is your interpretation of it? And if any of the cast is watching this, let us know what you guys were thinking. Explain it to us if we all got it wrong. Please do. But thank you guys for watching. Until next time.